Thank you for purchasing the Thermorail TRTS timer. This video will show you how to program your rail timer. When the timer is first wired up, it will show as off. Begin by pushing the menu button at the bottom to set up your configurable menu. Use the up and down arrows to select between either 12 or 24 hour time. In this case, we will select 12 hour time and hit next to save. This tower rail has the ability to program each individual day of the week separately, or to program all seven days of the week the same, or you can program the weekdays to one schedule and the weekend to a different schedule. This is done by selecting between either options one or options two. Option two is to have all seven days the same or each day programmed individually. And option one is to have all weekdays the same and the weekends separate. Select between either options one using the up and down arrow. In this case, we'll select option one and hit done to save. This will return us to the original menu. Now hit the power button to set your current time. To set the current time, simply tap the time display and the time will begin flashing. Using the down arrows, adjust the time until you have got the correct current time. Holding the down arrow will allow time to change faster. Once you have set the correct current time, hit next and use the up and down arrows to select the correct current day of the week, hit done to return to the menu. We'll now look at the simple manual way of operating your TRTS timer. The manual mode is not automatic or controlled by heating schedule. Begin by selecting the mode button and you'll see that a hand symbol is displayed. The timer is now currently on and you can adjust this by simply hitting the on button and using the up and down arrows switch the timer on or off and hit done to return to the main menu. We'll now look at a more advanced heating schedule for the TRTS timer. Begin by returning to the auto mode. We'll then hit the schedule button. You can now see that we are programming all five weekdays at the top of the screen. We are also programming the first heating schedule for the week. This is currently set to come on at 6 a.m. in the morning. We will adjust this to come on at 10 past five using the down arrow. Once we have set the on time, we hit next and the on button will start flashing. Using the up and down arrows, we have the ability to either turn this period off completely or leave it on. In this case, we'll leave it on and hit next. We're now setting the time that the timer will switch off. It is currently set at seven o'clock. We'll change this to 10 past six using the down arrow. Again, we'll hit next and we can, we'll can leave this as off. So this is the off switching period for the timer. We now program the afternoon schedule. It is currently set to come on at 4.30 p.m which we will leave, we'll hit next, and we'll see that it is set scheduled to switch off at 7.30 p.m., which again we'll leave. You'll now see that we are programming Saturday and Sunday. And Saturday and Sunday it is scheduled to come on at 7 a.m. and switch off again at 9.30 a.m. The weekend gives us the ability to delete even schedules. In this case, we will delete the afternoon schedule using the delete button. The timer will now not operate in the afternoon at all. We'll hit done to return to the main menu. We've now programmed a timer. If you wish to program each individual day separately or to program all seven days of the week the same, we need to return to the configurable menu and select option two instead of option one as previously shown. Once you return to your heating schedule, you notice we will now have a down arrow, which is allows us to select exactly which day of the week we wish to program, or we can hit the all days button, and you'll see that all seven days are displayed at the top, so we can program these all to the same schedule using the same method as we just undertook. Once you return to the main menu and you've completed setting your timer, you can now lock the screen by simply touching and holding the top left hand corner until the lock icon is displayed. You'll now not be able to touch 
or change your timer. To unlock, simply touch and hold in the same position until the lock key is gone. Thank you for watching and all the best with programming your TRTS timer.